Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali to do some Nogi Jiu Jitsu today. What we're working on right now is transitioning our back escapes into mount escapes. So there's this kind of like midpoint where people will move from one position to the other, and we need to get ready to combine our escapes together through that moment. So if you want to be more dynamic and you want to have better escapes, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. We've been looking a lot about taking the back, right? So earlier in the week, what we were doing is we were falling to the right to escape, right? And when we fall to this side, what makes it a little different is we have to get past that choking arm first, right? So we've been breaking this frame, coming over the top, lifting that leg and circling out, okay? Now, here's the deal. If we fall to the other side, we get to save a step. We don't have to worry about clearing that arm. Okay, so if I fall to this side, there's less threat of that bottom arm controlling me, right? Because now it's already underneath me. I can still break this frame to control the arm, okay? But it's not as essential, right? If I can break the seatbelt grip, that's great, but I don't need it quite as much, okay? Now, watch what I do next. Everything's pretty much going to be the same as before. We're driving that heel up. Again, I am still worried about the top hook. I don't want to get mounted, okay? And again, I'm just popping my hip over that bottom leg as I start to circle out. Again, driving back into Chris, I'll start to turn and face and look to pin and side control. So we're gonna start real simple with just this. What I want you guys just to be aware of is we fall in the other direction for this one, right? I'm falling to the left this time. So is choking hands on top, okay? And again, I still wanna block the choke. So my left hand, look, if you guys notice, is going thumb in. Okay, my right hand still wants to block that outside hook. Okay, that's the hook that'll take him over to mount, and we'll look at that next. Okay, again, from here, I'm just walking my hip up over his leg. I might need even to jump over a little bit, and now I can start driving into Chris, working my way into side control. Okay, so we'll start with that real simple back escape, and then we're gonna build off it, okay? So yeah, now, now we're, we're gonna stay focused on falling to this left side, okay? So everything here is gonna start the same. We're, we're looking on that same escape, okay? So like I'm here, I'm framing. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to clear Chris's hook. But if, let's say I do a poor job here of monitoring the outside leg, and this is gonna happen. It's just a common technical error people make. I need to be prepared for this to happen, okay? So ideally I want the, the grip broken so he's not connected to my chest anymore. But watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scoot my hips out far to the side and I'm gonna move into a shell. Okay, so as I scoot out, and Chris starts to come up. I wanna start pulling my legs under where I can pull Chris, kick him away, and now use my technical stand to get away and get back to my feet. Okay, so we wanna anticipate his transition to mount so we can uh, successfully escape the position by recovering our butterfly guard. So again, when we're here, I'm gonna fall to the left. Again, if I can, breaking that grip, I start to clear the hooks. But look, Chris is following me, so I need to be ready to face. As he faces me, I pull, kick. I'm gonna do a cross post and post my hand. Now look, from here, it's just a technical stand. I'm just raising my level, coming up to my feet and circling out. Okay, I want you guys to think you're, most likely the person's gonna be pressing you here, so you need to be ready to move with your partner. Okay, so like we did this yesterday in class, right? Combine. So same idea, right? Now when I go with Dimas and he starts coming up, what I want to do, pull, kick. Now push, 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 push. He's gonna chase me up, right? So we want to be ready for that person to chase us back to our feet. Okay, so make sure as your partner, put the pressure on the other person like that. All right, guys, time. Let's uh, let's keep this train moving. 
Uh, everyone's doing really good. So we're kind of hitting a transitional point now. We're no longer looking at escaping from the back anymore. We're looking at escaping from the mount. So we're transitioning from that one bad position to another. So I just want you guys to be ready to acknowledge that if things do go wrong here, we need to switch our, our, our way of thinking, okay? I always say like the rules, what we're trying to do is, it's not gonna come out right. I don't have it right now. Anyway, so let's talk about it when we get there. So uh, again, I work my escape, but I fail this time and Luke mounts me, okay? So if this happens, we just need to be prepared for escaping the mount. Okay, so again, if I land here, luckily for me, Luke's hands are on the mat. I just need to start looking to post one. And this is a great time for me to work that trap and roll and start making my way on top. Very important for you guys, when you guys trap and roll, make sure you guys cover the biceps when you come on top. Okay, this is gonna help me with my passing and my striking, both for ground and pound here and both for my passing. Okay, so we just wanna make sure we keep that bicep control, especially in nogi. Okay, we'll talk about some options here in a little bit. So again, we're starting here, Luke's on my back. I wanna work the escapes that we just practiced, but this time it's not really working out for me, right? Let's say even I go to the strong side here, I start to go, I try to block that hook, but Luke still manages to come on top. Look, if, if he postures, what I wanna do is I wanna start walking back so I load Luke's weight over my hips, and now I can start bridging him forward. So again, when we're here, now I'm gonna start looking to bring one arm in towards my chest. If you guys look, I reach around, I'm hitting his bicep right above his elbow to collapse that arm in. Now look, my right leg steps to the outside and now I'm just gonna bridge. And as I bridge, I make sure I'm hitting Luke's ribs and watch how I keep my feet connected here as I bridge up. I keep driving off that bottom leg. So I'm making sure that I'm still connected to the mat as I transition to top, right? Like what I see from beginners here a lot is you guys bridge like this. This was you this morning. Remember, you're stuck in the mount, you're trying to get out and this is happening. Or you guys do this. You don't wanna roll and expose your back, right? That's gonna be the worst position we can be in. Okay, we don't wanna get stuck belly down in the mount. Okay? So again, if I'm here with Luke, how I bridge is really important, right? I wanna make sure Luke is loaded over my hips. I wanna make sure I'm bringing one arm in towards my chest and trapping the outside leg. Now watch how I bridge over a shoulder and keep that foot connected to the mat as I move to top position. And again, staying here, you guys can go to a low posture, controlling your hands on the biceps. Okay, so let's start working in the, the trap and roll escape. 